India's ONDC platform is said to be a game changer in the e-commerce space. My colleague Sakshi has the details. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal recently urged e-commerce companies not to miss the bus on joining ONDC. He has also said in the past that of course ONDC will help small retail players survive the onslaught of large tech-based e-commerce companies and even compared India's ONDC revolution to UPI. He said like UPI democratized payment systems, ONDC will democratize benefits of e-commerce, expanding the scope really and choice for both consumers and retailers. So what is ONDC? An open network for digital commerce, it aims to raise India's e-commerce penetration and of course essentially one network with unlimited choice for consumers like you and me, where you can shop for a variety of products from exciting brands and local businesses, spanning categories such as food and beverages, groceries, home and decor, beauty and personal care, fashion, electronics and even cater to your transportation needs. So in short, a one-stop application for all requirements across different product and service categories like travel, mobility and product purchase. And for sellers, anyone can join ONDC including startups, small-scale sellers, regional players even, basically opening up the entire e-commerce chain completely and making it a collaborative process. So ONDC, the government-backed project that was launched in April 2022, has already crossed the milestone of 5,000 daily orders in the retail category, which mostly includes food and beverages and grocery, making this a 25-fold jump in last two months. The ONDC platform is said to be a game-changer and experts believe by connecting consumers directly to the sellers without charging a premium and also giving them the freedom to, you know, of course, the sellers to choose their own shipping or delivery agents, a fresh neutral marketplace for all has now emerged, breaking the monopoly of many e-commerce giants and of course their delivery apps altogether.